nightmares. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are once again in Minecraft today. I wanted to do a slightly different type of video today in honor of Minecraft's 15 year anniversary. I've been playing Minecraft pretty much since it came out here and I've played on pretty much every single console aside from PlayStation I want to say but I I love this game I've gone through many different build styles and today I just wanted to kind of go through a couple of the things that I've learned along the way when it comes to building so first here we're gonna start off with one of the first things that I ever learned how to do in Minecraft and that was how to build a quick starter house. Now this is like super super basic. Um, I'm gonna slightly jazz it up a little bit just so that there's a little contrast on the corners because I can't help myself but I believe it went something like this. And I learned how to do these houses by a YouTuber called Chimney Swift 11. Now he was my go-to when it first came to watching Minecraft videos, as well as I has Cupquake, Tobuscus, and many others that you can probably think of from that era I was watching as well. But, um, yeah, they were kind of the core of Minecraft for me at the beginning there, and I'd watch them. Oh, Yogg's Cast was another one that I enjoyed a lot of. But I would just watch Minecraft videos, and I would just want to play Minecraft all the time. So I'll cut out some windows here. And we'll start bringing the roof in. This is our first edition starter home. This is what I used to start every single survival world with. I would build these and this would be like the first thing that I would start out when I was building. So it would look like this, and you could fit like a bed and like a couple chests and a crafting table. I would put torches up here on the ceiling and do that. Um, and a big feature was the color palette choices that I had at the time is I was a lover of the birch wood. Birch wood was my go-to. Birch wood floors were my jam at the time, y'all. This right here, these colors were my bread and butter when it came to early game Minecraft. Let's get that classic red bed. single chests double stacked because that's more realistic to what I would have and you've got space for a furnace in here as well right there yeah this would be my starter house if I were starting out Minecraft survival in the very very beginning 15 years ago. <laughs> this was go-to. Obviously not with the strip spruce because that wasn't a thing yet, but it's just so that our eyes don't bleed when we're looking at it. I would have done it in solid oak at the time, just oak planks. But um, moving on, 
I did like playing a lot of creative mode throughout the years as well. So it wasn't always survival houses like this. And I did expand off of these. A lot of times I would start adding a second floor, but it would be very blocky like this. No, no indents or nothing concaved or convex. It's just all flat. But I will move on to what I would do for a creative. And I loved doing cave builds. So we're going to start off by just lighting up the place. And this is going to be a little bit more of a process because I really want to give the full experience of what I would do to transform a space like this at the time. I love modern builds. Um, I don't do very many modern builds anymore, but that was kind of what I started off with, which it is easy to do modern builds. So I'll just start off by kind of digging out some spots here and then we'll start kind of etching out the house. It'll be kind of a modern cave mansion design. And we'll start with kind of just the basic things and then we'll start adding in different elements that I would have been able to add as the game progressed through the updates. Because there's some things that I started to do kind of in 2015 and there's some things that I was doing at the very very beginning and Quite honestly, it all has blended together in one way or another, so the only thing that helps me remember is being like, hey, this block didn't come out yet. Obviously you didn't use it yet, because this block didn't come out yet, it wasn't here, it didn't exist. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to clearing this, and then I will be back. So now that I've got this whole area kind of leveled out and cleaned out on the bottom here, I am going to have to break up the cave a little bit. And this is something that is a technique that's newer for me that I'm needing to do, mainly because the world generation is completely different now from how it used to be when I originally was playing. So caves were not as large. Um, also, the mountains did not generate the way that they do. So kind of just needing to fill this in a little bit so that it reads better space-wise. Cause this is kind of the more portion-wise of a room that I would have in one of my original bases. So we're just gonna keep on dividing this out. Anyways. Um, all right, so we've got more of the ceiling done. I have gone in and started working on the entrance. my little bridge, grab do spruce, I think we only had oak fence, so we'll do that, we'll get a little, I think like one, do a little bridge, and I wouldn't have gone in to do supports, I know that much. I would have just been like, okay, yep, it's floating. Minecraft physics all the way. No need to build in unnecessary supports. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, it's part of the look for it to be weird. <laughs> It is quite a challenge to try and build in this style of like, it's not remedial, but it's definitely remedial based off of what I'm used to building now. Um, 
It's okay though. Um, we'll do some cobblestone steps. Actually, no, we'll do, well, I would have either done oak or cobblestone. Let's see, the oak's gonna be a lot warmer, but everything else is gonna be wood as well. So the cobblestone might be a nice little contrast. just quick when I started out because I was just trying to get as much out and down as possible I think but I also would get bored really fast and that's why I originally stopped playing in creative mode all the time was that I would be playing in a world and I would just run out of things to do too quickly so I already did it all the extent of the fanciness that my bridge would be. And maybe I would do some torches. No, you know what I would do. No, I do know what I would do. Um, is I would get the glowstone. I remember doing this now. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So get the glowstone. Where's the glowstone at now? stone and the fence posts and we would do lamps like that yeah okay here we go here we go this is what I would do okay so I would go through and I would just like randomly stagger these these were my main light post looking nostalgic to me so far. I'm liking it. Okay, so we come up the stairs. Then we need... I want to do like a little farm area back here, like growing some wheat and sugar cane and cactus. Cause those were like the main crops. And then like watermelon and um, cocoa beans as well. Those were another ones. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use that stuff up there. I feel like that's just like, this would have felt large enough to me starting out. So let's just work with this space that we have here. Um, we'll wall this off here out of here. We didn't have those. Those aren't original to the game. We only want things that were original to the game right now. Okay. Speaking of that, I was, uh, I can explain. I, <laughs> I was breaking the blue flowers, the corn flowers that were around because I didn't want to be flying around later and have that break the nostalgia look. So my only flower that I can use is the dandelion because obviously roses aren't in the game anymore. At least the type of roses that I need. The single roses, we have poppies. I could just put the poppies out. I might do that and we'll just pretend they're roses. We'll just stick with the the dandelions and the poppies, maybe. Okay. Cool. And then 
got like our main area here that could be like our kitchen area kitchen I always had like a kitchen and then like living room over here this don't mind my roughing it out I'm roughing it out and then we already talked about this being over here and then we just have like a cute little loopy doopy we can have like a little greenery greenery gardens area down here okay cool well i'm gonna keep on working on this and then cut back a little bit later probably when i'm pretty close to done with this but yeah okay so i've got pretty much everything roughed out i would say we've got the floor in we've got basically the wall shaping that i want to see here so now we get to do the fun part which is putting in decorating things and i'm gonna start off with like the most basic of the basic and then i figure in the next video i do i can kind of come through here and show you all the things that I would upgrade about it now and some of these things are things obviously because of updates, newer blocks, things of that nature, but other things are just things that I have learned to do differently or just have done differently over time. But uh, yeah. Um, I usually would use like a slab like this and I would also grab a brewing stand and cauldron. I think this is pretty much how I would have that. Okay, cool, cool. And then I would do like some steps and do these and sign. And I would make couches like this. These would be my little couches. Oh, oh no! Really bad at placing blocks to the Okay, there we go. Jeez. Okay, there's one couch. Let's do oh no, we can't do another one up here because the sign. We'll do a shorter one. We got some new paintings. I could put down my brain instead. Okay. Paintings. 
that's one of the new ones. I want... Yeah, one of these ones. Yeah! Go with the flaming skull. I don't like how that's not centered with the wall. Maybe we just won't have a painting in the wall. Um, I'm gonna grab this glowstone though, and we're gonna put some glowstone in the corners here. And in the ceiling. So that's something that I would have done. Would have done some in ceiling glowstone lighting to be fancy. Awesome, awesome. We got little living spaces and then bedroom. We kept it pretty simple most of the time. Something like that. And then like some sort of painting. Whoa, that's a new one. I like that. I like these ones. These ones are cool. I like that. the mirror what we used to do because ice would melt is we would do wool behind glass we'll get like the light blue wool it does 
doesn't look like the light blue wool we used to have, but that's okay. That's okay. Do that. And this is our mirror. Probably would have done like a basic redstone something to make the water come out. So, let's see if I can remember how to do that. Then, when we turn on the shower, or the bathtub, get water, when we turn it off, it's off again. Yep. We'll just seal that off on that side so that no water goes into the redstone at all. That would be bad. Okay, now we just need a toilet.
stone button next to that. There we go. Cool. We got our bathroom done. thing about trying to do this all quick is that there's gonna be like little things I feel that I'm gonna miss. like this wouldn't have taken me longer than a night to do. Set up. Fill this in a little bit. would go like every two because I didn't realize at the time that every four blocks you could get saturation. Um, I would have also left enough space here for there to be a walkway. Um, have this be for sugar cane over here. Oh, also do that. I would not have done full water. I would have done one because it meets all the way down. Laziness. Um, yeah. Let's keep it as realistic as we can.
sugar cane. Where's my sugar cane? Okay, well. This is like a super, super basic version of what I would do. I'm gonna run around and add in a couple last minute details and then we'll do a last little final fly through and yeah. Then it'll be on to the next episode where I show you more of an upgraded version of this place where we go through and we modernize it and we'll make it a lot cooler. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna end today's video here. Thank you all so, so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and enter the sticker giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe, comment, and join my Discord. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye! I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking